On February 7, 1908, Connie Mack, owner and manager of the Philadelphia Athletics, sold his star pitcher, George Rube Waddell, to the St. Louis Browns for $5,000. Waddell was born on October 13, 1876, just outside Bradford, Pennsylvania. Waddell was a decidedly different sort of child. At the age of three, he wandered over to a local fire station and stayed there for several days. To say Waddell was a character is to put it mildly. He was easily distracted by opposing fans who held up puppies, which caused him to run over to play with them and shiny objects seemed to put him in a trance. He had a long-standing fascination with fire trucks and ran off the field to chase after them during games on multiple occasions. While at spring training, he was known to disappear for days on end and was once spotted leading a parade down the main street. A left-hander, he played for 13 years with the Louisville Colonels, Pittsburgh Pirates, and Chicago Orphans in the National League, as well as the Philadelphia Athletics and St. Louis Browns in the American League. In his prime, Waddell was the game's premier power pitcher with 302 strikeouts in 1903, 115 more than runner-up Bill Donovan. His career stats were 193 wins versus 143 losses, 2,316 strikeouts, and a 2.16 earn run average with 50 shutouts and 261 complete games in 2,961 and one-thirds innings pitched. Waddell pitched his last game on August 1, 1910 for the St. Louis Browns. Waddell helped save the city of Hickman, Kentucky from a devastating flood in the spring of 1912. Catching pneumonia, he lost much of the vitality they had sustained him in a second flood in Hickman and another ensuing case of pneumonia in 1913 took the rest. That same year, while in Minneapolis, he was diagnosed with tuberculosis and moved to live with his sister in San Antonio, Texas. His health never recovered and he was placed in a sanitarium in nearby Elmendorf until he died at the age of 37 on April 1, 1914. Yes, you heard right. Rube Waddell died on April Fool's Day.